Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial for EdPy. In this video we're going to be talking about variables, while loops and for loops. Variables are a small section of memory that Edison can use to store numbers in and then remember those numbers at a later date. So to create your own variables all you need to do is just like I have declare the name for the variable followed by an equal sign and then what you want that variable set to. So in my case I've set mine up as loop number but you can change your variables to be whatever you like them to be and then as long as you use the same name further down in the program uh, the same variable will be used. So with these variables we can do some really cool things and we can set up some conditions for loops to break and to run through which means that we can control exactly how long loops run for unlike the previous video where we could only get loops to run through infinitely. So in this first case we're going to look at the while loop. Now as I said the while loop is based on a condition so as long as this condition here is true the loop will continue around and run whatever has been indented after the little semicolon that exists here. So in this case, this while loop is set up to be while loop number is less than 10. So at the moment, when this first runs, uh, loop number gets set to 1, which means as it gets to this loop for the first time, loop number is definitely less than 10, so it plays the beep, runs to the next line which is where loop number equals loop number plus one so it equals one higher than it was before therefore loop number is equal to two and it will then jump back up to the top here check loop number against 10 see that loop number is still lower and then continue to do this all the way up until loop number equals 10 in which case it won't be less than 10 anymore and the loop will break and it will jump down and do the next things in the code so this is going to run around and beep that number of times. Now, less than is not the only condition that we can have as a conditional. In these comments section here, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of other conditionals that are set up as well. So the first conditional is less than or equal to, which means that if we place that in here, when loop number equals 10, this condition would still be true and therefore it would run one final time until loop number equals 11 and then loop number would be greater than 10, so therefore it would break and move on. The next line down is loop number greater than 10, uh, which would work if you were going to be counting backwards, for example. Uh, the next one down after that is loop number greater than or equal to 10. Lower than that is loop number is equal to 10. Now, the interesting thing to note here is that in a condition like this, you need to use a double equal sign because using a single equal sign sets loop number to be that number rather than checking to see if loop number is actually equal. To that number. The final thing down here is loop number is not equal to 10. So this would basically, if we place this up here, it would continue to run until loop number equaled 10 and then it would break and move on down to the next thing in the program. Now the next thing in the program is what's called a for loop. Now the for loop is a bit of a special one and it has a few different uses in Python. In EdPy it only has the use that I've specified here. So what this does is it allows you to tell EdPy to run a loop exactly the number of times you want it to run without having to worry about the variable as we had to do in the while loop up above. So basically all we need to do is tell the for loop, uh, it says for loop number in range 4. Now what this means is as we can have a look in the line help text down the bottom here, execute the indented code, i.e. run the loop, uh, the number of times it takes for loop number, which is our variable, to get from 0 to 4. And once loop number equals 4, it will run this one final time and then break and finish the loop. So there you go. That is variables and loops here in EdPy. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next video.